are you? This week we are in Southampton at the Mayflower Theatre. I'm just off to check into my little B&B, which is on Hill Lane, which should have given me a small clue as to what I was letting myself in for. So there's a little bit of an incline there. It's all right, it's nothing that I can't handle. Just finished tech. I've never been to the Mayflower Theatre before in Southampton. It's huge. It's what we call in the industry a barn. Please enjoy my fluffy hair. There we are. Where is this place? Anyway, I'm crossing the road now, so I'm gonna go before I get run over. See you in a bit. Emma Katie's joke of the week. A white horse walks into a pub called The White Horse. He asks for a drink. The barman says, Hey, we named this pub after you. And he says, My like what's called Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Emma Katie's joke of the week. <laughs> <laughs> That's the car park. Hello. Hello. And happy Wednesday. I'm out with this one. We're off to IKEA for meatballs because we've only got one show today. Not a two show day, is it? No. no, and we just walked right around the houses to get yeah, here. I found it. But I found it, much to uh, my delight, and not <laughs> doubting Thomas is here. Anyway, let's go and get some meatballs. This IKEA is absolutely massive. Do shopping with some teeth. Mmm. Bon app the teeth. Mmm. Mmm. Shower gear because we think Nathan's about to come in. We're gonna try and scare him. Yeah. Two hours later. This is fun. I bet he's having a fag. <laughs> Where is he? The shower's filthy. We, we've been in it an hour. <laughs> Sometimes between shows we treat ourselves to a little spa day. A little Himalayan moment, oh, if yes. you a Himalayan moomon. Monte. Um Jack. Yeah. You left the lights on. Go on. Ego, look, ego, look, watch. Ego, ready? Oh. The Mayflower has the facilities. <laughs> All the mod cons. Thursday night, and we're about to play musical bingo. There it is. Rock and roll bingo at the Mayflower Village. Yes. There's everyone. I hope we win. I've got that one. I've got it. There we go. Guys, I am so close here. I just really embarrassed myself because I shouted bingo because I thought we were looking for a line. Turns out we're looking for a full house and I shouted bingo early. We're going to show you what the smoking area is. So First one, I won. Two, I had two left. <laughs> Three, two, one. What did you go and do? I won. That's what I did. It would seem <laughs> Izzy's joined the winning table, as you can see, so it's me, Izzy and Martin. It's musicals round. Tick. Not done any of the ones, though. Take a look up your face. Take a look up your face. Consider 
to be enjoying that sort of music, so what we're going to do, we're going to play the rest. Are we all ready? We are. Are we all ready? So this Sunday is called National Stage Managers Day. So I thought what way to celebrate than to go and meet some of our stage management team and see what they do. Of course, when you see this, Stage Managers Day will have already been. It will have been last week, because this is a few days before and it takes me a week to edit. You get the picture. Anyway, let's go meet some of our stage management. So this here is the lovely Luke. Hi. Luke is our tech ASM. What does ASM stand for, Luke? Assistant stage manager. Assistant stage manager, which is uh, quite an important role, isn't it? I think so. I think so too. Yeah. Without you, there is no show. Yeah, but without you, there is no show. Without this is true. Any of us, yes. There is no show. We're like one big spider web. Without one strand of that spider web, I don't know where spider web came from, <laughs> but I'm going with it. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good analogy. It is. Uh, tell the people what you are doing currently. So we're before the show. Yeah. This is before anyone's even in the building. Yeah, so we come in at 5 o'clock, mm -hmm. uh, before our 7.30 7 show, and we're getting ready. Yes. Because all the set pieces are in where they end up at the end of the show, which is different from yeah. where they are at the start of the show. And all the props, such as we've got these lovely uh, paint pots, pots, which are used in Colour My World, um, which I need to get out because these are you, these are go on top of some of our barrels, uh, so people can stand on the barrels. Uh, but yeah, everything just needs to be put where it needs to be for the start of the show. Let's uh, do it then, come on. What are you waiting for? What are you doing? Let's put things up where they're meant to go. Shall I give yeah. you a hand? If you want. Yes, let's. Beer crate that we yep. use for most of the bar, there's, there's a few different bar scenes. And that's um, just going there, is it? Yeah, it pretty Great, well, I did that right. Yeah. You, Very good. Great. Um, so it's pretty much, yeah, preset there, and then I preset it a bit more during the show just because there's quick changes and stuff that happen yes. here. Yes, and they get cleaned all the time, don't they? Yeah, guys? so I clean them usually at the end of every show, just so everyone's COVID safe. Yes, people put their mouths around them. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Let's move some things. Move some things. What else well, are we moving? I'm literally just going to put these back in here. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's see, this is me helping. Ah, oh, exhausted oh, after that, yeah. actually. Yeah, what are you going to do now? Ah, oh, God, I don't know. What yeah, are you doing? The show? Yes, probably. And we need to get the, the, the briefcases that are used in Raining Moment mm -hmm. that end up on stage left. Yep, sure just there. Yeah, across here. Let's do that. You want to take one, uh, please? Well, Burn I've got please. one hand, okay. but I'll try and take... Oh, look at that. Yeah. Skill. Two in one. Here we go. Set here. Any order? Order? No, because you, you guys just pick them up at the start of the show, don't you? Yeah. So this one's mine here because it's got TS on it, so that we all have our own briefcases. Yeah. Here's the wipes. Do you want to wipe them? Sh shall Shall I take a wipe and we'll a do wipe. we'll do them together? Okay. Yeah, that's 
Yeah, that's all I do. There we go, see. Many hands make light work. Yeah. Right? Oh, 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 we oh, both went for the middle do, do one. You wanna, do you want to, just, just to be sure? Yeah, there we go. That's done. Uh, I'll give you that. At the end of the show, all uh, three of these ends on this side, and I have the two biggest set pieces in the whole show. It's um, crazy, really. Yeah, and yeah. we had a lot less space than we have in this wing. This is a luxury, isn't it? Look oh, at yeah. that. It's all this space. I could, I could have a party. We could. Yeah, we do have parties. We do. The show. Yes. Well, I I don't know about these parties. Uh, maybe oh. I shouldn't have told you. Oh. <laughs> I don't get invited. No. All right then. Yeah. Right, what are you doing now? Uh, so I just need to put these, which I sanitized last night during the show because I have a bit of time. So mm -hmm. I just get on top of these things. These get preset in our portals. Yeah. Um, because they they picked up quite quickly. They are. One of those bits of the show that I don't often see, but I know they disappear. So they just get set there, and then there's two others that we set downstairs. God, you're you're so efficient. Because I do most of it during the show. Ah. Yes, because I've got. Little bits of downtime that we uh, we we managed to, like I say, sanitize these mm -hmm. and just move stuff to where they need to be, so we're ready for the show. Well, let's put these where they need to be, and then we'll um, we'll move on to the next one. And that's your job done. Uh, pretty much. I've got a couple of tiny bits to go. I need to go see wardrobe because we have some handkerchiefs that they wash every night. Mm -hmm. um, so I need to go get those. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Well, I'll leave you to it, Luke. Thank you for Thank showing you. me what you do before the show. Thank you. Bye. See you in a bit, Luke. See ya. Bye. So this here is the lovely Robin with a Y. Hello, yes. Yes, Robin with a Y. What is your job title? Uh, I'm assistant stage manager slash book cover. Ah, and what is book cover? Um, book cover means that if Emily was off, mm -hmm. then I would jump on book. Ah, yes, so you'd be calling the show. I would be, yeah. It's a very important job. It is, yeah. Yes. You're all important jobs. <laughs> yeah. I'm just doing my reset, um, ready for tonight's show. Cute. Okay, well, we've just seen Luke do his. Okay. So let's see you do some of yours. Maybe I'll help you out. Okay, cool. Um, well, I'm actually going to check the feather fans that you use. Perfect. Um, let's do it. Girls. Let's check them. Ah, how did I not see them? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. So when you say you're checking them? Yeah, so basically all the facing around has got enough space so you can grip around. Because mm -hmm. um, these are quite sharp actually, so when we're doing the dance, some of these feathers move down, don't yeah. they? And they're quite scratchy. So like for example this one mm -hmm. has come all the way down. So they're all attached with a uh, wire, mm -hmm. so I just have to push it back up and then just give the wire a bit of a twist. Yeah, so that one looks pretty good. Give it a bit of a shake. Um, yeah, so there's Lovely. enough room for the other one. So I just check all three. So yeah, that all looks pretty good. So they're ready for tonight's show. Stunning. I could have helped you there, but it was yeah. far more fun to watch you struggle put them up there. Yeah, so uh, there's quite a few things in the show which are quite tall and reaching and they give it to the short person. <laughs> so do. it's one of those things. But you do it so well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like a Tetris mm -hmm. so a lot of the things end up in different positions at the end of the show mm -hmm. so I have to move everything down of to course. start resetting again yeah. so the big bits on my side are the cab mm -hmm. and the arch um, which they are, are big aren't they they are big for such a small person yeah I've definitely uh, grown in muscles on you, this show. Have, <laughs> you have I see you moving them like wow okay yeah she's doing well there's so many good bits so I actually do quite a lot of live scene changes, which mm -hmm. means we go on stage in costume. And yes. there's one bit just before the start of Hot Stuff where me and Luke um, spin the arch around mm -hmm. in live motion. And for us, it feels quite fast, but it actually looks quite slow to the audience. I never get to see that because I'm <laughs> bringing a barrel on stage at So that we point. do, we jump around and swap the arch around and push it off. So that's quite a fun yeah. moment to do. Uh, but the scene changes are quite fun because they're quite quick paced. And you've got your costumes, haven't you? We have got costumes, which you might get us in them later. <laughs> in the action bits where we kind of do stuff on stage with you guys it's quite fun right i'll let you continue then that cool, case thank you. and i'll see you uh, during the show yeah perfect cool with your costume on yes bye, <laughs> bye. so this right here is the lovely emily i'm going to come down and see you oh Hi. oh that feels nice it is nice yes it is it's just nice to go out the house isn't it our age <laughs> my age anyway <laughs> <laughs> My job title is DSM mm -hmm. or uh, Deputy Stage Manager. So you're like second. Yes, yeah, second, second in command. Yeah, second in command. Quite important. Oh yeah, that's so. Yes. <laughs> Do you feel important? No, not really. 
really. Oh, you look important. Oh, thanks. Well, yeah. everyone knows what they're doing, don't they? So I yes. just kind of felt there to be like, you're doing great. <laughs> Speaking of what are you doing, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, redoing some of our spike marks mm -hmm. um, just because some of our set is quite heavy and it just rips rips them up quite a lot. So yeah. each day as part of my job is to go around and check they're all still there or replace them. And These so, little things here are spikes, yeah. if you can see that. Just this one, yeah. And a spike is where it, it helps us yeah. And you guys actually yeah, put we, the set on stage in the well. right place, yeah. yeah. And like props and things. So and like, they have to be nice and bright for when you're doing it mid scene mm. and at speed. Because <laughs> if there's dark, if it's dark on stage, mm. we have to be able to see where we're putting them, right? Yeah, literally. And but you're yeah. just redoing some of them. Yeah, I just make sure they're all still there every day um, while everyone's resetting because I have a bit of time. Why are they different colours? Uh, each colour represents a different scene or number, so they're all themed. So that if we need to set up for a certain scene, we know that it's all covered by the same coloured spike marks. Didn't know that. So, apart from checking out all the spikes on the stage, <laughs> yes, what else do you do before the show? Uh, before the show, I will call the cast down for warm up. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure everyone's there, and then we'll do parish notes. So, if we need to run anything, I sort of oversee that with Nathan mm -hmm. or with Richard, our musical director, or with Ben if there's anything we need to run, and we just I basically just oversee all that. Okay. Uh, and then I do all the backstage calls to make sure everyone knows what the time is mm -hmm. and how long we've got left. And then, yeah, and then in the show I queue all the lighting cues, some sound effect cues, the, all the bridge open closes I do as well. Um, so a lot of your job is mainly as the show is happening. Yeah, right? literally that's my busiest moment. Like I can't not, I can't leave the book, I can't move away from the desk. I'm just... That is like, your that space is and you're I'm not allowed away yeah, from it. It's intense, that, that bit of time. So now I'm quite chill, I just sort of make sure... Oh, you're doing nothing now. Yeah, I just sort of chill out, yeah. marks, make sure these guys are okay. If they need help moving stuff or need help doing stuff, then I'll just do that. But for now I'm just waiting for warm-up, really. Same. In which yeah. case, I'll come back to you during the show then, if that's all right. Yeah, and we'll get you doing some of your actual proper job. Actual proper job. Yes. Yeah. So as you can see behind me, Robin and yeah. Luke are doing what they call shout check. So one of them will shout a prop or a piece of set to them. And the other one will check that it's in the right place. And when they've seen that it's in the right place, they'll say, check. Feather bear and costume material tucked inside the top shelf. Yeah. Headphones. Yeah. Pink pillow. Yeah. Bird pillow. Yeah. Binoculars. Yeah. Duffel bag. Yeah. Sewing kit. Yeah. Okay, Lamping table. Yes. Gold stool. Yes. Bernadette's black clutch with plate of trumpet and sunglasses. Yes. Benji photo. Yep. Shotgun. Yep. Spear. Yep. Uh, Sparkle with black pad. Yep. So this is the wonderful Ben, who is our stage manager. Yeah. Correct. Uh, explain to the lovely people at home what a stage manager is. Oh gosh, so I uh, look after the show, I manage the stage and everyone on it, so I look after yes. these rascals. Yes, uh, you do. Potentially it's for six hours a day, which is fun. Um, and I make sure that all the technical aspects of the show happen and that the show happens without a hitch. Yes, and you have to be away from the desk till if something does go wrong, it's your call. Right? Exactly, yeah. So if anything happens on stage that shouldn't happen, then it's my job to. Not that that would ever happen. No, of course not. Professional, all yes. the time. Nothing ever goes wrong. Ever? No. <laughs> Not that anyone else sees, anyway. Backstage <laughs> is a different story. No, but, completely. Yeah. It's like swans, you know. Yeah. Above the water, it's all very elegant and regal, and underneath, it's just little legs going. Kind of king. Yeah. Yeah. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll catch some footage of, of what you do during the show as yeah. well. Because yeah. up until the show starts, you kind of meander, don't you? <laughs> working hard. Always working uh, hard. Oh yeah. So hardly yes, working. Yes, We're not too sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Ben, I'll see you in a second. See you in a bit. Bye. So the wonderful Emily is about to do what's called a half hour call. Do you want to explain what the half hour call is? So I do the half hour call 35 minutes before the very top of the show. Mm -hmm. So that is at uh, 6.55. Yep. Uh, and that's just so everyone knows that we have 30 minutes before beginners, which is called five minutes before the start of the show, to make mm -hmm. sure everyone's dressed, ready, made up, and ready to go on stage. <laughs> so let's see you doing the half hour call now then. Lovely. Members of the Silicon Company, this is your half hour call. You now have 30 minutes. Thank you. Here we are. Lovely. There it is. See you in 30. See you in 30. Priscilla Company, this is your five minute call, you now have five minutes, thank you. And so now I do it to everyone who's got a radio so they can hear it. Mm -hmm. Pass the five. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Members of the Priscilla Company, this is your Act One Beginners call. Please stand by or Act One Beginners. Please stand by Wigs, Wardrobe, Flies, Stage Management, In-House Crew, LX, Follow Spot, Sound, Mr. Atkinson and the band. This is your Act One Beginners call, thank you. No. 
Hello, so act one has just finished and now we are setting up for act two. So we have to clear the stage, get everything straight with our lovely Southampton stage crew who are amazing. Hello. Give us a wave. Um, and we'll just reset and get ready for act two. So we've got about 15 minutes to get that done and then we start act two. Fantastic. So that is it so far, so good. See you on the flip side. What you got there, then? <laughs> what are they? My little pick-me-up for the show. <laughs> Get me through. Yeah, I caught that. Mmm. Go on. Yes. Just a casual cowboy outfit. <laughs> casual cowboy. So your main job is to, um, don't see me for touching you, um, is to call the show from, uh, what do we call this book? Uh, prompt copy. Prompt the copy. prompt copy. From Bible, show Bible, prompt copy. Okay. And I haven't actually asked you to explain what that is, so... Yeah, it basically has all the cues in for the show. So mm -hmm. my job is to make sure all departments are doing their jobs as they should. It makes a bit more sense when I show you. So in the book, we have uh, sort of sound cues, fly cues. Uh, I give MD cues as well and spot musical cues. Director yeah, cues. The musical director cues. So I know when everything should happen. I have my comms on and I basically say go when they should happen. And then each department or whoever's operating or the MD will do their thing at that certain time. And also you can control what everyone does via yeah, this use, kind of thing. I here. use my cue lights as well, so I can probably, the guys on the bridge probably won't mind, so I have my little standby lights, mm -hmm. and then I give them a green for when I want them to go. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got cameras here, haven't you? Yeah, so I've got my overhead infrared camera, so I can see what's happening on top of our lovely bridge, which closes you. So this is here. a bird's eye view of the stage, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, bird's eye view, so this is downstage, and this is upstage, mm -hmm. and then it's infrared, so I can see whatever lights stick. And I have my little safety marks here, so I know when the set is clear of the bridge. Mm -hmm. And then I have my my main front of uh, front of house camera, which is just the show from the front and of house. And that's their safety curtain, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's our current safety curtain. And then we have the same front of house one, but infrared, so I can see when it goes dark and people are moving around on stage, I can mm -hmm. see where they're going. Like, for instance, we bring in the curtain at the end of Act 1, I can see when you guys are all clear of the curtain. Yep. And this is my MD camera, so I get a lot of cues from the MD, so he'll give me a nod, or he does his counts, like he does for you guys when you're singing, sure. or also for the band. He's not I quite also, there yet, though, is he? No, he's not there currently, but oh, I get a lot of uh, cues from him as well. Good morning, it's Saturday. As you can see, I'm looking rather tired and some lovely morning glow behind me there. The reason why I'm up so early is because, as some of you might know, my boyfriend, Josh, uh, for the past six months has been on a cruise ship. Now, because of COVID, I've not been allowed on this ship and he's not been allowed off it. And the plan was that in two weeks time, he'd be getting off for three weeks and then getting back on, staying out there until around April time. But due to unforeseen circumstances, he's getting off today. So instead of three weeks off, he's having five weeks off. I'm in Southampton, there's ships in Southampton. So I'm gonna go and pick him up. I'm really excited. <laughs> it's gonna be weird because I've not seen him for so long, but I've got a little bag of treats for him to welcome him back onto dry land. What's the opposite of bon voyage? Voyage bon. <laughs> so we're gonna go and pick him up. Let's go and see him. Let's go and see his ship as well. That is one big boat. Whoa. <laughs> so that right there is his ship. 
Just waiting for him to come out now. <laughs> That's my career. Excuse me. Excuse me, is this your stop? Can you look at me when you're talking to me? Oh. Members of the Pacific Company, this is your half hour call. Please stand. Oh no, it's not. I just oh. said the complete <laughs> wrong one. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I was under pressure by Tom. I completely said the wrong one. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's never happened before. As always, great <laughs> professional as I am.